Welcome back everybody. This is a quick guide to Eagle City's Outward Nine Holes. We're going to take a look at the course, the best strategies to employ, the holes where you can pick up shots, the hazards to avoid, some shortcuts and advice on the best clubs and balls to use. So let's get started. Eagle City is a parkland course set in an urban environment. It features nice wide fairways, most of which are flat or with minimal slope. Some bunkers, but most of them are shallow and all of them can be played from simply. The greens are almost all flat and whatever slope there is is largely constant and predictable. The course also features some shots over water, but mostly the water is well away from where you'll play the ball. Overall, it's the simplest of the non-DLC courses and it probably rivals Balata as the simplest overall course to play. Obviously custom clubs with plenty of power will be the best choice on this course. Length will make almost all of the par 4 greens drivable and turn them into eagle opportunities. If you're using the standard clubs or the unlockable clubs, then depending on your playstyle any of the clubs will do, as Eagle City Out is a pretty straight course. Personally I favour the side spinner ball as there are a few greens that are tucked in and the better access with a shot with a bit of side spin on it to change your line of attack. I'd leave the sand viper and the grass cutter as both the bunkers and the rough are pretty gentle and you don't really need them to play it out unless you're looking for length in which case you know the sand viper and the grass cutter can help. So on to strategy, simply be aggressive, use your power shots, almost all of the fairways are wide enough to catch a mistake or if you do miss the punishment isn't too severe, you'll cost yourself shots if you don't go for it. A great example is the first fairway, even if you miss a power shot going off either side of the fairway usually isn't too painful and you can still make the green. Certainly once you've ranked up a bit and you're hitting 280 yards with the standard clubs then you really should be attacking everything, looking at birdie as your minimum and trying to maximise your eagle opportunities. So shortcuts, unless you're just starting out and only driving 180 yards we've all been there, then hole three is a hole you can shortcut and attack to reduce your score. It's a sharp dog leg at about 250 yards and you can cut the corner using either the second or the first fairway depending on the length. If you have the length then driving the approach to the first green can actually get you an albatross and hopefully you'll see a little example of that. In any case always make sure to look inside the dog leg and see if there's a good landing point to help you reduce your score on three. Similarly, hole 5, another dog leg, you can also use this to your advantage. So again, just have a look at the next fairway and just see if there's a little place you can place your shot to cut the corner off. It'll reduce your distance, and reduced distance means you can use a shorter club, which means better accuracy, which means better scores. My advice on both of those dog legs is use it. So on to hazards. Hole 6 features a series of bridges across a small brook that can be in range of your shots. If you're driving about 280 yards maybe, so some care is needed. There's also a slope on that fairway into a long fairway bunker to consider. Again, nothing too difficult, but you do need to consider your shot selection and the wind to make sure you stay clear. In a similar vein, hole 8 also has a nasty little choke point with three bunkers, two long ones on one side and a short horizontal bunker on the other. And you've either got to hit an accurate shot into the middle of those three or lay up a little to avoid trouble. Go 
And finally, hole 9, the par 3, can be a source of frustration early on, particularly if you don't have the control stat, as it's surrounded on three sides by bunkers and the back of the green is protected by the water. As you level up, this will become a really straightforward hole, but certainly when I was starting out, it catches you out sometimes if you don't have high control stats or if you misjudge the wind or your power, which is really easy to do early on. So just be careful on 9. So that's it for our mini guide of Eagle City Out. It's nine holes of all out attack. You'll notice I barely mentioned the greens as there really isn't a problem with the greens. Most of them are flat. They're really easy to find and whatever slope it has got, over time you'll learn to predict. The key strategy is to attack and hit your shots and enjoy it. You're gonna play far harder courses as you go through this game. Eagle City is one of those courses you'll go back to and it'll really get your confidence up. And it's really good for just you know playing nine holes. Just get out there, attack the course, get yourself a decent score. So that's it for this quick course grand up. I'll be doing more. I'll be trying to do every half course, including all the DLC courses. So I'll see you next time for a bit more everybody's golf. Just relax.